Hello, a very good day to you. My name is Sister Temitai and I'm here to share the Open Heavens Day devotional with you. Today is Sunday, July the 18th, 18th and I'm sure many of us are gathered in church. Um, and if you're not in church, you're probably watching online. And we thank God for the, the gathering together of the saints. The Bible says, unto the Lord shall the gathering of his people be. Amen. And we thank God for the body of Christ and we thank our Lord Jesus Christ for giving us this opportunity to dwell together in unity how beautiful and how wonderful it is for brethren to dwell together in unity the bible says amen uh, and the title of the daily devotional that i'm sharing is this one that is compiled by the general overseer of the redeemed christian church of god pastor ea adeboye now if you know me personally or you're visiting my channel for the very first time you'll be asking that's his attire why are you sharing this particular daily devotional well it's because as i prepared to enter into the year 2020 which was last year the spirit of god instructed me to begin to share this particular daily devotional on youtube to be very specific and i was able to start that assignment in the month of june 2020 i shared the devotional also in the month of august october and december 2020 and in this year 2021 i resumed sharing in the months of march and in the months of may I'm sharing now in July and I'll be sharing also for the subsequent months of 2021 by the grace of God. So now all those videos from June last year till date are all loaded on my YouTube channel and I will encourage you to, you know, go through the videos and, you know, you'll definitely find something that applies to you and you'll definitely be blessed because the Bible says that God confirms the word of his servant and performs this, all the counsel of his messengers. And uh, the Bible also tells us that all scripture is given by the inspiration of God and is profitable unto us for doctrine, for correction, and for reproof and for instruction in righteousness that we may be complete and thoroughly equipped. I share the daily devotional, but I still listen to the messages and I'm blessed. Sometimes it's like I'm not the one talking, you know, because uh, God is the one who sent his word. Amen. And I know you'll be definitely be blessed. Uh, please share, you know, share, especially with people in the Redeemed Christian Church of God. Keep sharing, you know, share freely and God bless you as you do so. Now, uh, how did I get to know Pastor Adeboe? Pastor Adeboe led me to Christ in October 1997. Yes, October 9th, 1997, many years ago when I was in the University of Lagos in Nigeria in West Africa. And Pastor Adeboe's style of teaching is that he'll give you a few scriptures to read. He'll give you a memory verse. And when you combine those two pieces of scripture, that enables you to understand the body of the text and what the Spirit of God is saying to us at such a point, at such a time as this. Amen. So today is Sunday, July the 18th. Wow. And the scripture I'm reading for today is taken from the book of Isaiah in the Old Testament. Isaiah 43 verses 18 and 19. Isaiah 43 verses 18 and 19. Just two verses. I'll be reading from the traditional King James Version. And thus goes the reading of God's word. Isaiah 43 verses 18 and 19. And this is God the Father talking. He's saying, Remember ye not the former things, neither consider the things of old. Behold, I will do a new thing, now it shall spring forth. Shall ye not know it? I will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Remember ye not the former things, neither consider the things of old. Behold, I will do a new thing. Shall ye not know it? Now shall it spring forth. Shall ye not know it? I will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. I said he's going to do a new thing. Now, Isaiah is one of the major prophets, as we call them. Uh, there are five of them, you know, uh, Isaiah, Ezekiel, Daniel, the book of Lamentation, Jeremiah. Those are the five, the books, five books of the five major prophets. And, um, you know, this is a promise that God spoke through Isaiah that he's going to do a new thing. He was talking about the new man in Christ Jesus that was coming, that was going to be birthed, that was coming when the Messiah comes. You know, it's a new thing. So the title of today's daily devotional is New Creature in Christ, part two. We shared part one yesterday. And when you think about new creature, if you've been coming to church, the first scripture that comes to mind is, if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. Amen. Now, the memory verse, on the other hand, is taken from 2 Corinthians 6, 17. 2 Corinthians 6, 17. And God is saying to us, Wherefore, come up from among them, and be ye separate, see the Lord. Touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you. Wherefore, come out from amongst them, and be ye separate, see the Lord. And touch not 
the unclean thing and i'll receive you you can't do what everybody you must not compromise you know the amplified classic translation calls us the uncompromisingly righteous amen so you can't do what everybody in your office is doing how they add extra zeros and how they get kickbacks you can't do that you know come out from amongst them and be separate because we are new creatures in christ jesus and pastor says he says everybody desires new things mm. as we expect new things to come our way the almighty god shall give them to us in this season in jesus name amen i declare that god's going to give us new things in this season in the name of jesus christ god says he will do a new thing in isaiah 43 verse 19 to whom is he making this promise pastor asked to his people of course this leads all those who are expecting a new thing this season to ask themselves some fundamental questions am i a child of god does god know me am i among his elect or am i just a church goer am i among the redeemed of the lord what is the proof that i am redeemed of the lord and the bible says let the redeemed of the lord say so whom he has redeemed from the hand of the enemy so if you know uh, there's nothing like new uh the smell of new you know when you buy something new it, it brings some excite brings excitement you get a new dress or you get a new day so a new piece of jewelry or you get something new you buy a new car or you get a new house you know it has this it, it brings joy you know a new baby you know um so god is going to do new things in this season in jesus name now but pastor is saying that who is god going to do something new for it's only those who are part of him you know who have accepted jesus christ as lord and savior so have you accepted jesus christ as lord and savior you know they're saying now god is going to do a new thing and you're shouting amen amen are you god is only going to do new things for his children are you a member of the body of christ amen because god is only doing new things for his children our memory verse shows that for you to be really redeemed of the lord you must adopt a new way of living you know and God is saying to you, come out from amongst them. Now you are born again. God is saying, come out from amongst them. You are a new creature in Christ Jesus. You know, and um, if you are born again and, you know, the world is still calling you, come back. All your friends that have been drinking and smoking and doing all the funny things, going out to all the raves. They are saying, ah, ah, where are you? Where are you? Come. They're calling you. God is saying to you, come out from amongst them and be separate. You know, say, declare the word of God and say, it is written, if any, because I'm in Christ, I'm now a new creation. All things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. You say, I've come out from amongst them. I am now separate. I refuse to touch the unclean thing, and God will receive me. You're using your mouth to declare the whole counsel of God. One thing that can come upon a new creature in creature in Christ is the movement from poverty to prosperity. The Bible says in 2 Corinthians 8, 9, For we know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, that though he was rich, yet for your sakes he became poor, that you through his poverty may be made rich. So pastor is giving an example, that when you become born again, when you become a new creature in Christ Jesus, poverty can no longer hold you down. Uh, mm -mm. Because you have now been translated from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of God's dear son, poverty cannot hold you down. Amen. It, it, it has passed away. You cannot be poor anymore. You Even if you don't have any money in your bank account, you just know that I can never be poor because the yoke has been destroyed by reason the, of the anointing. You have been translated from the kingdom of God, darkness into the kingdom of God's dear son in whom you have redemption through his blood. You just find that these blessings, because that's the blessing. The blessing is the, the riches. The blessing has come upon you and it has overtaken you. So you find that, that you cannot be poor anymore. Uh, the Bible says, those that seek the Lord, the Lord shall not lack any good thing. Amen. So that's one of the things that you notice when you become born again. You just have this kingly mentality. Apostle Paul encourages us to be transformed rather than being conformed to this world of sin in Romans 12, 1 and 2. Mm? The truth of the matter is this. Only those who are in Christ can experience the new things God promises us in his word. Okay. So, now that you have become a Christian and you have become part of the company of the Lord, uh, be transformed by the renewing of your mind, by the word of God. That means you have to be studying, reading the word of God on a daily basis so that you can be transformed. Do not conform to your old life. Do not conform to your old gang. Do not conform to your old 
uh, kin folks and their their old godly like uh, like a worldly mentality. Amen. The Bible says in Second Corinthians six seventeen verse eighteen, wherefore come up from amongst them and be ye separate, here the Lord. Touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you, and I will be a father unto you, and you shall be my sons and my daughters, says the Almighty God. All those people that I used to gossip with, that you really enjoy their company, you can't continue with them. If you want to partake of the new thing that God is doing, you have to separate yourself. You know, separate yourself. There must be a distinction between those that serve God and those that serve Him not. Even in your spirit, you will know that you are separate. Amen. You know, uh, the Bible talks about us being renewed in the spirit of our mind. You know, um, it talks about um, putting away lying, speak the, speaking the truth, every man with, with his neighbor, in, you know, his neighbor. Uh, and that, um, you know, let him that still, still no more. Jesus said to that woman, go and sin no more. Because now you are a new creature in Christ. Amen. So you can't continue in that old life. Because God has made you new. You need to change all old habits that are contrary to God's word. New blessings cannot come upon an old life of sin. Matthew 9 verses 16 to 17 says, No man putteth a new cloth, a new piece of cloth, unto an old garment, for that which is put into it, up putting it to fill it up, take it up the take it from the garment, and the rent is made worse. Neither do men put new wine into old bottles, else the bottles will break, and the wine runneth out, and the bottles perish, but they put new wine into new bottles you know pastor is then using as jesus the, the example that jesus um, gave that you can't take a piece of new cloth and uh, use it to patch an old piece of cloth it, it will tear and you can't put new wine inside an old skin because it will ferment and it will break you know you put new wine into a new bottle so god wants to do a new thing in you but you have to come out from amongst them and be separate you're not born again you can't continue in the old life anymore uh the bible says he that stole let him steal no more so even if you are angry don't let the sun go down on your anger you know when you become born again you receive a new spirit you knew you 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 are transformed from inside you are changed you just find out that the things that used to excite you and make you happy before no longer you've changed you know you are now um your your spirit man is now born and new regenerated Amen. And pastor says, I pray that you, you will experience new things in your life this season in Jesus' name. That scripture says, go and sin no more, according to Jesus. And the prayer point is, Father, please let your divine touch change me for better. Let me experience new and pleasant things this season in Jesus' name. And I pray that, Father, Lord, we thank you because we have been translated from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of your dear son. I pray whatever it is that wants to hold us down. To continue in the old life, old life, Father, let it be broken in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let there be a separation, Almighty God, that the new cannot cross over into the old, and the old cannot cross over into the new. In the mighty name of Jesus, let us be help us to be strengthened with might by the Holy Ghost in our inner man. In the mighty name of Jesus, thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name, remember that you're a new creature. In Christ Jesus. And I will encourage you that if you're just born again, you know, attend a discipleship class, um, attend your Bible studies because you need to, in your early years, you need to know the word of God and know how to behave as a Christian and how to live the Christian life. Amen. May God bless you in Jesus' name. Thank you very much for taking time to listen to me today. Um, please subscribe to my channel. Um, please tap the notification bell. Very important so that every time I upload a video, you're aware. Drop me a comment and God will give you a favorable answer. Thank you very much for taking time to listen to me. And I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. My name again is Sister Temi Tayo. Thank you.